Hey dreamers, welcome in. My name is Chris and today we are going to be working on a speed build for Eric's castle in Dreamlight Valley. I've watched a few other streamers that I really love. One of them is El Serene. Her link is below, but I took this inspiration from her build of Eric's castle. I decided to put Eric's castle in the Sunlit Plateau because I honestly didn't really know what else to do with that area. So I'm going to start by adding the large topiaries, or the topiary square I think is what they're called, because I just love how that looks castle-y. Every good prince needs a fancy courtyard, so I'm going to add the gold and opal pathing, I think it's called. I've also learned that I hate wasting resources and pathing, so I try to lay my big pieces down first and then go back and path just under them so I don't have all this pathing going on underneath items that you can't see it. I also really like having kind of a pyramid or curved type entrance to this. So I took these rows of pathing and left little gaps at the ends that I'll later fill with grasses or bushes or trees, kind of depending on how I feel as the build goes on. Next, it's time to add some trees. So I'm going to mostly stick with palm trees because we all know Eric loves the beach and the ocean. I also really loved these little waterfalls. I think it just adds kind of an extra dimension. And it was, again, something that I got inspired from watching Elle's video when she did her build. So all of these acacia trees and the tall palm trees, I especially loved the curved palm tree because when you put the two together, as you'll see in a minute, it just makes this really beautiful arch kind of over the entrance of the build. Like I said, I get a lot of inspiration from watching other creators on YouTube. My two current favorites are El Serene and I'm not dead yet. I'll put both of their links below, but they have just some of the most amazing builds. And I think I'm inspired by the things that they do, and I try to recreate some of them, but with a little bit of my own flair. So again, it was pretty bare here in the Sunlit Plateau, so I'm adding just all kinds of palm trees, the lush trees, the baboa, I think is they're called trees, just kind of giving it that tropical, but desert or Lion King vibe, if I can, because this is his area. I'm a girl who thinks you can never have too many trees. It's always good as you're building too, to take your camera and turn it to a lot of different angles just so you can see how the build is going to look from all areas in your biome. I also have a hard time when I'm building seeing through some of the beautiful trees that I put down so by moving my camera around it gives me the ability to, to build from different angles and perspectives. Alright, time to add in some plants. So I love 
the grasses and I honestly guys I did not know until I started this build that the grasses like the one in the upper right hand corner of the screen by that palm tree right now that when you click on them they turn into different types of grass it was blew my mind so of course after I discovered that through my other biomes I started adding more of these little grasses it works for the sunlit plateau grass I don't know that it works for the others all right adding in the bushes adding in some of the dwarf um, oh my gosh the dwarf little plants I can't think of what they're called right now just helps kind of give softens that border I love a fern the ferns because you can walk through them and the little stone clusters I use those all the time it's just so much easier to fill in spaces that I can also walk across and access later so I want to build a little kind of path leading to the rest of the Sun Plateau none of its decorated right now but it will be eventually and this will be the path leading to the next portion of the build So this is another thing that always frustrates me. I get everything where I want it to be, and then I want to have a tree in this one spot. Well, of course, I didn't leave enough room for the tree. So I fight with every tree I can possibly think of, and finally, you know what? Sometimes it's best to just give up. Moving everything over a little bit just helps fit that tree in there and fill in that space between the rocks and things behind and the castle and see it gives it that shaded kind of forest vibe Okay, so now it's time to place some of the extra accessories around and I am in love with these enchanted castle oil lamps from the Beauty and the Beast collection. I also love all of the tall candle candelabras or candle display things. So you'll see I use those a lot in this build, especially those oil lamps because they stay lit all the time and I love the glowing light all day and not just having to wait until the evening. I also really love these little sofas. I feel like they work so good in this build and I have not been able to craft the nautical sofas and furniture from Eric yet just because a lot of my resources have been going to other builds and it takes a lot of parts and pieces to be able to build his furniture. So we're just going to go with those cute little couches right now. I also really loved this idea when I saw it on another build. I don't use this brick fencing a lot because it's just so costly to make. But I love how in this build it just adds a little bit of specialness because it isn't something that I use a lot specialness is that a word sorry it isn't something I use a lot so I wanted to use it for this build I thought it would be really good for that castle vibe is kind of the entrance and also just back in that little sitting area So you've got to have benches. Every build that I make, I always try to have seating places for all of the different villagers. I love it when they come and wander through the areas I've created. 
Here are those candles that I just love, obsessed, I wanted in my house. Those candles are so just everything right now. Add more oil lamps. I would cover everything in oil lamps if I could, but just having a few here and there really lights it up at night. Finally, I'm going to add a little bit of a path here between the, the, the main courtyard, because I actually do know how to talk, and the little sitting area and moving on for the future into other builds off to the right. As you can see, I've tucked my little dreamlight tree back in that corner. So just trying to make a little interesting pathway. We're coming to the end of this build. Always have to do a little walkthrough just to make sure everything looks right. It all fits together. I love it. I think it looks great. I love the little sitting area. And of course, all the candles and oil lamps. Have to check and see what it looks like at night, which this is my favorite time and I love how it lights up and it glows thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this build and I hope you come back to watch my future builds don't forget to subscribe like and click the little bell button so that you can get updates on all of the upcoming videos that I post thank you dreamers for joining me today have a wonderful day, and see you next time.